Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Noli, and today we're gonna to be playing some Dungeon Maker. I found this game on Google Play. It does cost uh, four dollars. I've been wanting to play this game for a while now. It just took me a while to remember the name of it. So we're gonna be trying it out and see how it is. You know, some games I'll purchase now and then if I actually really look forward to them or ever wanted to try them out. Well, let's see what the this drop is. How is this like decks and stuff? Let's see. Oh, oh, this looks interesting. Abilities, unlocks, and stuff like that. Oh my. The thickness on these waifus. What? Oh, dude, I like White uh, Fang. She looks dope. Death Knight looks pretty dope, too. Okay, so there's a lot of cards. I kind of want to summon, but I don't know how that would affect me if I don't start a new game. Okay, you got Lilith, Elizabeth. There's other characters, too, that you have to unlock. Okay. What are the main characters that we can to unlock? Is that my dude? Nope, that's Viper, and she has blood coming out of her eyes. And I get, her hands are goopy. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so let's see what the skill they have. Lilith, she has a skill called Whip. <laughs> that, that says a lot. <laughs> Level 2, she receives Queen Order acceleration to one random ally. Okay. Bastille Climax. You know, we're not even going to talk about it. It's called Charm. <laughs> okay. Gives a one charm at low rates. At level five, she gets a start the game with a succubus girl. Okay, forbidden love. You know they don't really explain like too much, but I want to know how many levels. Okay, so you can awaken them past level ten, and they get more. Okay, so these are the abilities. So, the whip skill taps everywhere on the screen to inflict 22 damage, gives one betray to the nearest ally. So, it's pretty much taking over the unit. Damage to that next ally increases by 15% per one stack of betray. Attack allies at a low rate every time. Okay, yeah, so it's basically taking it over. And making them fight against each other. All right, so now we can see this stuff. So climax inflicts 40 damage and gives weaken vulnerability and betrayal to all enemies in combat. Vulnerability increases damage received by 50 percent, and weaken increases by well decreases attack by 35 percent. Would you still be doing more damage to yourself if they're charmed? Yeah, yeah, basically. Never mind, because this is like 50, so you'd be doing like, want to say, 20? Nope. Yeah, 20 damage to your enemies, right? No, 25. Something. 15? 15 damage? <laughs> yeah, 15 damage. That's what it is. My bad. Brain fart. <laughs> Alright, Forbidden Love. Give one mirror to all monsters and give them fury as much as 40% of HP loss. Give two charms to all heroes. Okay. Fury adds additional damage to attack skill equal to the fury stacks. Oh, it doesn't say how much it increases, but you know, eh? Charm. Okay, that's just, we already know what that is. Or do we? Okay, yeah. That is basically what we do. Okay, mirrors. Makes the next enemy attack themselves instead of you. So that's just basically reflection damage. And then the last skill she has, Obey. Deals 100 damage to all heroes. Gives 
then five betray and puts them into the, a base stat. A base state. The damage based on how much betray you have. Obey reduces damage to enemies by 30% and increases damage done to allies by oh 150. Okay. So Elizabeth is a vampire. Let's see. So she gets bite and does 22 damage for every tap to the nearest hero. Okay. And 1% of additional damage per blood lust gain to Dark Lord. Dark Lord gains vampire. So basically restoring and life steal. Alright, Bloodlust is damage to next enemy increases by vampire stats. So the more of that life steal you have, the more increases. Vampiric impulse gives an attack increase, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> For vampire and bloodlust to monsters. The Dark Knight, well, the Dark Lord absorbs all vampire of all monsters who possess vampire. Gains additional fury armor per stat. The monsters who loses vampires gains life equal to it. So they gain back life, is what I'm hearing. Okay. Let's see. Armor just reduces damage. Fury, we already know what that is. Vampire, we already know what that is. Okay, her last skill, since all of the vampire gained to the Dark Lord to deal 110 damage, an additional equal to 100% of the stacked sent from all heroes. Or sent to all heroes. Gains fury equal to the number of stacks. Okay. I think I like Elizabeth a lot. Well, no. Yeah. Meh. Kind of a hard choice. Yeah, we're going to try Elizabeth. Now, let's just go with normal for now. Oh, you can change your name. I don't know, you can just switch out anytime you feel like it. Okay, that's cool, that's cool. You don't have to choose over which one. You just go back and start playing. So, battle. Okay, you can use Dark Lords tap abilities, unlock more skills. Okay, so the more I tap, the more damage I do. And I summon monsters to basically block off paths. Okay. So battle rooms, place monsters in a battle room to defend a dungeon against heroes. Traps, you got, oh, okay. Monster X will give you a random monster, basically, and relics improve your monsters or the dungeons. I'm gonna take the egg for now. Oh, she looked cool. Let's take her. <laughs> Can you place them? Or do you drag? Okay, she does burn damage, actually. Whoops. Oh, I gotta take him off. Okay, hold on. There we go. So they can't go into any other room. Elite battle? Let's try elite battle.
Boss appears. Dude, I'm the boss. Okay, so it's basically like a tapping game, too. Noted. I'm going to take this region. I'm going to put it on... You. What's this? Relic? Yeah, let's go ahead and take that. There's also an event here. What's this have? Oh, it is a straight up road like. So as you go on, you get new characters and stuff, rinse or repeat, and you get like all kinds of like cool stuff. I don't have any of that. So I can't do any of this. Feels bad. What's treasure chest? Ooh. All monsters gain. Okay, so these are basically like those um this is basically like relics that you put up at the top, you know, gives you like those bonus things. If you guys have played uh, Slate Aspire or any other roguelike games, they let you collect items and they help you out and they're in your run. We're going to take the elite battle. Okay, so my mana is at the bottom right. That's how much of my attack I can use. Noted. Let's take the goal. Armor plate increases all, all monsters gain 20% max HP as armor. Huh, weird. Okay, so they have times two speed too. Okay, let's install a trap. Let's put that here. What's this event? Ah. Uh, okay, they just took one of my imps. Now that's fine. It's fine with me. I was about to say no. Not like this. Okay, we're gonna put rocks right there. I mean, so far this game's pretty cool. <laughs> that golden punched the shit out of her. <laughs> yeah, I saw that right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, I was about to say, so just this buying like different rooms. Okay, so now I can deploy monsters here. Oh. So we can make like... 
Yeah, dude, let's do this. So you can combine your rooms, too. Dude, that's pretty dope. I like that. Oh god, dude, you're just gonna get that noise over and over again. <laughs> Vampiric monster. Oh, it's... oh, okay. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. I'll take that. I'm gonna take this. Just so their stats can have, you know, that slim chance of actually going up. Literally nothing but that freaking arrow and stuff. <laughs> combine our monsters. Let's combine. No, no. Let's see what we get. We got a lizard man. All right, lizard man, go right there. Got to make sure to still use my stuff. And as you can see, that my vampire gets stats down here. Okay, gives gold every time an enemy is killed. What is dark slime? Whoops. Now let's go to elite battle. What's this? Reduce the cost of Blood Lord. Or Dark Lord, whichever one it was. <laughs> okay, it gives a shield. Gives one panic. What does panic do? Can I use skills the next turn? Okay, that seems nice. We also have this. Ooh, so she attacks all in the room. Ah, that's that's a hard choice between. She gives shields and immunity to everybody in the room. Dude, why? <laughs> why do you? Fuck it, I'm taking this. I think I'm going to have a bigger chance with uh, this character. Because that immunity and shield could actually probably help us out. Okay, we can go to elite battle right here. It's kind of easy to navigate through the dungeon, too. Oh, you can actually pause, too. So I'm getting a lot of HP just from one attack. Interesting. <laughs> Dude, that punching animation for the gold is <laughs> just perfect. Okay, so we have Slime Girl too. Sends a healing wave through the room. Gives chained. So disable normal attacks. I'm gonna chain. I'm gonna pick you. Whoops. Yeah, that's why I'm trying to take somebody off.
There we go. I am going to need another uh, battlefield, though. What's this? There's a ten percent chance of an enemy, even when. Huh. Thing is, I could skip this item, but I don't want to. <laughs> let's just keep going with it. Okay, let's do. Golem and Lizard. Oh, an Ice Golem. I was shocked when he receives damage. Dude, I might get addicted to this game. I need to calm down. <laughs> Just because I always like fusing monsters together and making new monsters. So basically, whatever you fuse together can inherit skills. Because that golem basically inherited the shock from the other uh, monster we had. The golem inherited the shock from the lizard, basically. Let me go ahead and take out the green slime again. So what is this dungeon card? Oh, so basically like stuff like this. Okay. We upgraded our golem. Another one. Okay, so here at the boss. Come on, we got this, boys. All right, we got the damage of music. That's perfect. Ah, easy. The sword we're going to give to our character. Immediately expands dungeon. So War One has finished. So we have prisoners. Weird. <laughs> Achievements as well. All of our relics. Oh, so we have like little dailies and challenges we can do without going to certain places. Nice. All our monsters and our battlefield and so. You definitely say I like it. It's definitely worth the purchase to be honest. I do have to go get my other abilities though. So. 
Check it out. Oh, never mind. I just, I'm stupid. <laughs> Guys, I'm fucking stupid. I get it. I get it. So, can I deploy this? Okay, no. Never mind. I'm good. <laughs> I say, wait, can I deploy in like a, like a trap room? But no, I can't. No, not right now. So any room that is red, I guess. I guess in certain rooms you can't do that. You zoom out, zoom in, whichever one you want. Okay, so thorn damage is now absorbed. Combine two monsters. I'm just curious how this works. Oh, so now we have a Cerberus. So he absorbed some of the stuff from her too. Interesting. Okay, certain rooms you can put them in. Some of you can't. Noted. Facility Trader. Let's go up here. Give me a monster. So there's Reaper. Oh, this one has more immunity. Oh, it's just itself. It slows everybody in the room. Meh. I think we're going to take the Reaper. Put him in this room. Alright, let's see. We're going to stall a room. Let's give a yeah, let's get a burn room. We can't combine right now. We need something else. Okay, so barrier is also something we can put characters on. Noted. So if I wanted to give one of these XP, I could give it to this. And level it up again. Okay. Cool. I'm getting the gist of it. We still have these little events that's going on. Oops, why'd I click that? But yeah, guys, this has been Dojo Maker. Dojo Maker isn't half bad. I like it. But I am going to keep going just to see how much more, how much further it gets and how much more fun it gets. Seems like there's a lot to it. A lot of management, to be honest. I also need to figure out how to get these skills unlocked. Torture item? Well, torture tools. 
God damn. Torture tools and all. There's recipes. Oh, I guess when your run ends, you get the XP of how far you've gotten. But they also have recipes of what things you can mix together. Apparently. There's also different monsters you can mix together to make a different one. Huh. Those are a few recipes I think you find around um, dungeons. So the more you go into it, the more you receive. Not even just stuff you find out for yourself goes inside the recipes. It's literally just finding recipes. Oh, that's perfect. I'm putting that right there. No, you stay right there. My higher monsters are going to go in there. I'm going to go for it over here, what this trader is. Oh, there's monster traders, too. I know I said it like I was about to end off and stuff, but I'm having too much fun. <laughs> what monster do you have? You got Herpy, um... Slows, reduces damage, regen and heals an ally. Gonna put you right there. What's in this chest? Gives two immortality when a monster dies. Or will when a monster kills an enemy. I guess that could be good. So you can also pay to combine or get a new monster. You can combine special monsters too. You can either sell the monsters or enhance them as well. So we've made a dire wolf. Nice, nice, nice. What's in that dungeon you got there? Gotta keep an eye on those stats. So it'll be better in the long run. Complete Cerberus. Oh, so I can literally pick a monster from this one? Alright, events are worth just looking at, apparently. <laughs> There's Phoenix that revives herself. Stuns and gives everybody a vulnerability. Or vulnerability. Okay, so that's Medusa. This one gives burn to the attacker. Nightmare Girl. Black Knight Girl, okay. Oh, she would play greatly off my team, actually. But yeah, guys, we're going to end it off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out.